how the hell did that tow car stuff? What went through your mind when you found yourself wrapped up in what he had going on? Because that was one of those trials of the century as well in Atlanta. If you were living in Atlanta, you knew about the tow cars case. So for you to find yourself wrapped up in the middle of it, first of all, how did you meet him and what caused you to get wrapped up in it? Well, actually, again, just like I say, Julius was more on the business side. Mm -hmm. And uh, tow cars, you know, he was an ex-prosecutor, mm. part-time judge. Mm. Uh, a lawyer and an accountant. My God. Yeah. Let me add one more thing. He was teaching the feds how to launder money while what? he was laundering money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So um, I always, just like I said, I was on the back scene. I was a strip club king. Okay. <laughs> you know, I know all the owners of the strip clubs. Yeah. We didn't pay to get in, you yeah. know, but we, you know, we ball. Yeah. When we went in there. Come on now. Uh, I never. Uh, went into the clubs that we actually had. I mm. never went into Dion's 21 yeah. and Dominique's 21. Never went in there. Never went into Perry. Yeah. You know, didn't even go to the Phoenix. Mm. But when he got killed, murdered in Detroit, mm -hmm. I had to step up because my investment is involved. Yeah. You know, so, um, but I never met Fred a day in my life. What? Mm. Never met him a day in my life. And um, when I got arrested for my uh, conspiracy case, this is after he had had his wife killed. Yeah. You know, he looked and said, these are the hootlums that killed my wife. Mm. So now I'm sitting up over there on Boulevard being accused of killing his wife. My God. Don't know him. So um, when I go into the courtroom, Courtroom pack, mm -hmm. news reporters, sketch artists. I say, damn, somebody finna come in here big. <laughs> <laughs> they waiting on my ass. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I'm on the news for two weeks. So I'm sitting back. I got um, I come back from visitation one day. Mm -hmm. And this guy say, I, say, I know you. He was actually designated to the penitentiary over there. Yeah. He said, I know you. He said, I see you on the news. I seen you on the news. And he was like, you down with that crocker, ain't you? And I was like, man, I don't, you know, I don't know him. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing. Yeah. So he said, I tell you what, if you take your stupid ass to trial with that crocker and get convicted, you know they're going to designate you at, right? I said, yeah, right here, because this is my home. This is my city. He said, you ain't going to last two weeks in here. Mm. He said, that crack going to put a lot of us away when he was a prosecutor. And now he's trying to frame you for his murder. Mm. So, you know, I'm looking up like, damn. You know, I still don't know him. Mm -hmm. You know, so I got to plead guilty of my charge. Yeah. To keep from having to go to trial with him in this whole RICO act. Mm -hmm. You know, they laundering money. Where they, they got counterfeit money. All that shit. You know, I did what I did. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the fall for what I did. Yeah. But I can't take the fall for you killing your wife because she want a divorce. Let her go. Then you go out and hide this motherfucking... Nobody, and he go hire a crackhead and blow your wife's brains out in front of the two little boys. Oh, my God. So who, who going to take the rap for that? I ain't got nothing to do with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I winded up having to plead guilty to my shit, mm. which was the drugs. But it was Julia's affiliation with Fred it got me caught up in that whole conspiracy. My God. Oh, yeah. Get in here, Wick. Oh, my God. I was just, I was lost, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm lost. So. <laughs> wow, that's explosive. Um, I guess uh, I got a small question. I want to know, was that was that a time that you can remember that you said, you know what? And, and I know it's easy just to say the murder itself. But I'm in too deep. Mm. This, you know, this this don't went somewhere where 
You know, just even with even the money coming in, is it too much? It's just like you know when you watch Nino Brown back in the day. It was a time to where when in New Jersey City when he first started, everything was fun, everything was good. We got the women, the clubs are popping, and then it changed. What's that point that you notice the change? You say, you know what? It ain't fun no more. This it's too much. You know, have I made enough money? You know. Well, that was the point of focusing on the Phoenix. Mm. Because when I when I when I had to step up and become the face of the club after Jews got murdered, I got my record label mm. called Extra Large Records. And I remember that. Rashida was Rashida and two other girls, they were in high school. Mm. And we had an open mic contest. And I say, whoever win the open mic contest, I'm gonna sign them to my label. Mm. Rashida and her crew won the open mic contest. They was in high school. We had to sneak them through the back door My God! to do the open mic contest. And once they got through, guess what we did? Snuck them right out the back door <laughs> and sent them home. Yeah. So in the process, and I'm going to get to your answer. Mm-hmm. In the process, I didn't know, again, see, my mind in the street. Mm-hmm. But while I'm making money in the street, I'm trying to turn everything so I can come out the street. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Eric was, um, I would say, the a r or the manager or so-called of the record label. Mm-hmm. So, um, excuse me. So I didn't know that they were going to D-Lo Studios, mm-hmm. which was Kurt Studio. Mm-hmm. Mm. So once I got arrested, of course, that's how she met Kurt. Mm-hmm. Wow. So it went from there. Mm-hmm. But the Phoenix originally, we were gonna, we opened the Phoenix as a hip hop club. Mm-hmm. But we were gonna shut it down because it had three floors. The Phoenix actually would hold 3,500 people. Right. So we were gonna shut it down. I don't even think Eric knew anything about it. But we were going to shut it down. Mm-hmm. The second floor was going to be a jazz club. Mm-hmm. And the third floor was going to be a strip club. My God. So we were going to corner the market. you damn right. All the way around. So there wasn't no need for me to be in the streets no more. So that was my mm-hmm. ultimate goal. Exit gotcha. strategy. Plus the record label. Gotcha. No shakes of plan. So that's how it all panned out. But mm-hmm. before all that happened, it is man that killed his wife, and this whole investigation going on, and I get caught up in it. 